going on everybody and welcome back to another unboxing video brought to you by Bearded Kaiju's Unboxing Reviews. You know, if you guys like the channel, hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, you know, share with anybody you think would like the content of this channel. Also hit that bell notification so you are notified right away when my videos drop like this one. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> I took a little week off and stuff like that. Uh, just been a little crazy, a little hectic. Um, trying to get back into the swing of things. Uh, lots of holiday stuff going on and everything. I think we're all past that and stuff. So um, finally trying to get on a regular schedule again uh, so we can do this year 2024 off right and get into the swing of things and stuff like that and just a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, but yeah, just I need to <laughs> hone back in here and, and really concentrate. So, um, but yeah, we have another unboxing today. Uh, would be the second for uh one for this year uh but yeah it's it's a great one it's one that uh i've never gotten a figure from this line so it is my first so it'd be interesting to see and take a look at um but yeah I'm, I'm really excited to look at it and get my first impressions of it because to me it looked really really cool it got my attention for sure so i'm really really excited to talk about it and show you guys and stuff like that and of course, before we get into the actual video, just want to remind you, 650 subscribers, I'm doing my next giveaway, and man alive, we are crushing it. We are so close. I think we're like 25 away already, so I think this might be the fastest we've hit our goal from each time that I set them and stuff, so uh, yeah, you guys are doing a tremendous job, so thank you so much. I appreciate all the support and stuff like that. And I can't wait to give away some free stuff and everything just for, you know, subscribing for the channel, you know, showing the support and everything. And I'm just giving back to you guys. So, yeah, I mean, 25. Oh, man, I cannot wait to do the giveaway. It's going to be fun. So, but yeah, like I said, we have an unboxing today and let's get right to it. guys here it is and of course i am wearing the proper attire to show off this figure but as you can see uh, i am repping our new godzilla incarnation minus goji uh from godzilla minus one so yeah this is really great uh this is from the uh ichiban uh lottery game um this is from bandai spirits um and all the bandai companies kind of rolled into one uh as you can see uh all their kind of logos are on the boxes and everything like that but it is bandai and everything uh but it is their ichiban line uh they've done uh, a bunch of these figures before in the past and everything and of course this year is no exception of course this year or this last year i should say uh we obviously got the godzilla minus one movie um, and it was just fantastic. I think everybody, for the most part, loved it. Uh, and so, of course, you know, merchandise started coming out right away. I think this lo little lottery game started up in November, kind of uh, just after when the movie dropped in uh, Japan and stuff like that. Uh, it was the same month in November, like I said. And, uh, yeah, it's it's been really great. It was really fun. Uh, I kind of started looking online and everything started seeing all this stuff and i was i was intrigued i really was so when i saw these i was like wow that looks really really cool and i was like oh i just might have to hunt one down and i did and i got them and i just oh man uh, i'm excited to see this and everything so um but yeah here is the box um it's a pretty cool box i i like it for you know as small of a figure it is and everything a lot going on in the box you know not a plain jane not just regular cardboard uh colored and everything like that there's everything um on this box and then every which way you look at this thing there is something to look at so let's just take a quick look at the box uh as you can see here without a glare <laughs> uh, like i said you got the bandai um companies and divisions that um are part of this and stuff like that um this is a soft vinyl figure um, but I think they call it uh, Sofix uh, and everything like that. I, 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 it must be like a Japanese kind of thing. Uh, I'm not really sure. I know over here, uh, this is the, it says that it's actually sculpted by Yuji Sakai. So if you're a collector in the fandom and you collect that kind of stuff, you know that this guy is just notorious, well-known in the collecting community. 
that this guy's sculpts are just superior to a lot of um, other sculpts and everything like that and uh, iterations and just everything about it. Like everything he does, it's so well done. So yeah, he is probably the top three sculptors in Japan um, for doing Godzilla stuff. Um, and I am not afraid to admit that and say that, um, but there is so many good ones out there, but he is just, I think just put his name uh, in the history books, honestly, for being one of the best, if not the best, uh, by somebody's standards and stuff like that. So uh, I won't say he's the best best because uh, there's a couple that I like, I think a little bit more, uh, but like I said, top three for sure uh, and everything like that. But yeah, so here's just a look at the box. Obviously you get a picture um, of the actual figure. Then you turn it to the side. There is another picture of the figure. Then on the back, obviously we get more looks at the actual figure and stuff. Uh, just really great looking. Uh, then we kind of get like an art kind of look to the figure and stuff like that on the other end of the box. So yeah, lots going on and everything like that. Looks great. Uh, I love it. And yeah, I just cannot wait to get into this. So uh, yeah, let's do that right now. All right, guys, here he is. In all his uh, <laughs> uh, atomic glory, really. Uh, this thing is dynamite. It really, really is. Uh, I was not expecting this, honestly. Uh, like I said, this is the first I've gotten from this line. Like I said, they've been making these for several years now. And um, there's been a lot of different ones that have come out throughout the years. Uh, we've gotten uh, Godzilla Earth. We've gotten the legendary Godzilla uh, Normal. We've gotten Shin Godzilla. We've gotten uh, Mecha Godzilla from Godzilla X Kong. Uh, we've gotten Godzilla 1995, the Burning Godzilla. Um, and then each one uh, sometimes has like a special to it and everything. Like Earth had like a, a special colorway uh, that was red and everything like that. That was actually released by the post office and everything. Um, then you had the Godzilla 1995, the Burning Godzilla. Uh, you had the normal Burning Godzilla. Then you had like just a normal like rebirth Godzilla uh, and everything with just no, you know, fire effects or nothing like that. You just had a normal. Uh, you also had uh, Shin Godzilla. You had three different Shins uh, where it was like the frozen one, um, the awakening one, and then the normal one. So that was really cool. Then you had the legendary one where you had the normal then you had like the burning legendary and stuff like that. Um, and then you have this one, the new one, uh, Godzilla minus one. Um, there is two versions of this. You just have a normal standard version with um, just normal uh, spines and everything like that. Then you have this special colorway or special release of the atomic ray version where his spines are lit up and then his mouth is lit up and everything like that. And I immediately, immediately when I saw this one, I was like, yep that is the one and i was like wow that looks really really good and I, I just had to get it i really did like i wanted to wait i really did and i was like you know what i'll wait for x plus to come out with one or something like that but i was like honest i i just i couldn't i couldn't i really wanted to get a really nice screen accurate godzilla minus one in my collection um this is the second one i actually got a minus one uh, I got the the blue translucent glitter uh, theater exclusive uh, that I got. That was my first actual uh, minus one Goji and stuff like that. So this is my second, but this is more of a realistic look to them. And I that's my bread and butter. Like I like that kind of look and stuff. And I'm just waiting for these other companies to kind of catch up. You know, uh, we've seen teases, you know, here and there about this company going to make one. This company going to make one um, is Super 7 has actually released uh, pictures of their prototype uh, or their promotional pictures of their uh, minus goji that we're going to get uh, later on this year and stuff like that that has actually been approved and the thumbs up from the director Yamazaki himself so uh, I do also have that one on pre-order so can't wait for that that's coming out in their ultimates line but uh, yeah like I just needed something so I'm hoping one of these other bigger companies um, does a minus one goji uh, we get it in bigger form, uh, the one that I kind of like the most. And then, you know, eventually the 
model kit game and the model kit industry is going to follow suit. They're going to start bringing out stuff. So it's just a matter of time. I think this year is going to be very big for minus one collectibles and stuff like that. Yeah, we got some stuff that came out for the movie and everything, but like uh, it was a lot of like trinkets, a lot of little things and stuff like that, little knickknacks. Um, you know, not always the biggest thing for what like collectors go for, you know, and maybe some collectors go for that stuff, but like figure wise, I guess, um, just, just not like we're used to uh, with all this other stuff. So I think this year is going to be a big year for for minus one uh, merchandise, especially figure wise. So, um, and this just kind of gets to show you, you know, yeah, this came out late, late last year, but like, uh, this is pretty awesome. Uh, I cannot say how excited I am. Like, I love this already. Uh, and like I said, this was sculpted uh, by Yuji Sakai himself. Uh, and obviously this thing just is fire. It really, really is. Uh, I'm not one for the smaller type realistic figures. Um, but like I said, I just had to get this when I saw it. Uh, and it, uh, I'm actually really glad that I did because the minus one um, look is really climbing my favorite Godzilla looks um, list and everything like that. Like it's it's climbing pretty fast. Uh, I don't know exactly where it would, it would be. Um, but I think it might be top five, honestly. Um, and it's and it's brand new and stuff like that. And I don't know if that's a honeymoon phase kind of talk and everything, but like I really, really dig everything about this suit and this design in general because it has so many similarities to all these other era of Godzilla's that I've said before. Same thing with the ride and everything. Like it, you know, this is a step above the ride and another evolution as to what I think Yamazaki really, really wanted to do and stuff like that. And we finally got it in the film. So um, I just love it. Everything about it is just great. Uh, the sculpt is phenomenal. The pose is dynamic. I love that. It's a more of an action pose, uh, kind of like where he's turning and roaring up and everything. Then you can see even in his mouth is glowing with the blue ready to let loose his devastating atomic blast um you can even see the eyes like the eyes are oh man good lord when you saw that in the movie holy buckets that was <laughs> that was crazy scary honestly um but yeah like even the eyes are just really great oh i just love it um the feet are done really really well um just oh man just everything the paint is done really great the, the transition from like the like goldish uh, skin tone and stuff like that to the dark gray um, to like the wounds were a little, little bit more highlighted, you know, in the chest, you know, when he got nailed by the battleship, you know, even in his face, you know, uh, has the battle wounds or the scar, I guess you could say, uh, when he got his basically face blown off. Uh, but it regenerated and stuff like that. But then it came back like a, a slightly different color. So you kind of know like that was a wound, you know, and stuff. So really, really interesting. Um, I just, I love this in every way. Um, like I said, I'm not one for the smaller figures. So um, this is this is pretty awesome. It really, really is. I just wanted to, to kind of take a minute and explain kind of how this like lottery um, goes about and everything like that. So what it is, is that, uh, establishments, you know, markets, marketplaces, uh, uh, retail stores, you know, wherever, um, they could get, um, this kind of game, uh, sold like tickets. Okay. So you went up, um, they were like 9,000 yen tickets, which is like six bucks, seven bucks, something like that, uh, and everything. So you got one ticket, um, and you got to pick randomly, you know, in a box of all these things. Uh, now, mind you, this wasn't the only uh, prize. There was like A, B, C, D, E, F, and like G prizes. Ranged from um, towels to uh, magnet heads to canvas uh, little pictures to uh, cups to a spine uh, like plate uh to mugs you know all these different things that you could get now obviously the lower ones um uh, from like g to i say c were pretty common there was a lot of them 
um, that was the most common that you were going to get, you know, and, you know, you just rip open the ticket, you see exactly what letter you get, and then you get to choose from that level and stuff like that. Now, the harder ones like B and A, uh, those were obviously the harder ones because they didn't have very many of them. Uh, so uh, it was harder to hit one of those bigger ones. Uh, now, the A one was the standard minus Goji and stuff like that, where it's just his normal look to him and stuff like that. And then there was, I believe, an S one where it was maybe like one or two uh, out of this whole set that like every every establishment got. Uh, they maybe got like a couple of these figures. So there was only a couple in the bin for you to choose from. So you either uh, got a lucky draw where like, you know, you spend six, seven dollars and you hit an S and bam, you got one of these really, really rare figures and stuff like that. Um, or, you know, you spend money after money after money and you just never hit it and stuff like that. And you can get up you know, a big collection of this, all this other stuff and everything, you know, so it's just the luck of the draw kind of thing. And there was a lot of this stuff ending up in the secondary market. I kept seeing just big lots of them, you know, of all these different things, you know, bundling one, them trying to get rid of them and stuff like that, you know, because uh, the biggest thing that everybody tries to go for is the figures themselves. You know, that's, that's the big ticket item, um, you know, so that's kind of the thing. Um, but I know like stores in the States here, uh, they were actually able to pre-order the standard uh, minus gojis and stuff like that. So um, that's kind of going to be more of a regular release. Um, but this blue uh, heat ray version um, is very limited. And I think it was it's only for Japanese um, retail uh, places over there that actually held um, the actual like lotteries and stuff like that in their establishments and stuff like that. So um, this isn't like a pre-order. You can't get it that way. Like you had to do the lottery over over there or like you got to buy in a secondary market low. Now, mind you, the prices on these things are ridiculous, ridiculous. Um, it, it's honestly crazy. <laughs> it really, really is. Like, like I said, you could probably get one of these for the luck of draw for maybe you know, six, seven bucks, you know, but, or you could, you know, spend a, you know, couple hundred, never get one and stuff like that. So it just depends. Um, but obviously there's a lot rare, so they went up in price and stuff like that. So luckily for me, I got a big package deal where I got this guy. Um, I got the normal one and then I got a whole bunch of goodies, you know, uh, from the actual lottery game and stuff like that in one big bundled package. So I thought it was a pretty solid deal and stuff. Um, just because I don't know how much money this person actually spent to get all this stuff. Um, but I, I got a nice bundle, so I was really happy with it and everything. So, um, but yeah, that's really uh, the only way to get this special version, you know, and that goes with uh, a lot of the other ones that I mentioned before, uh, kind of the other colorways like the Godzilla Earth uh, was a, a post office exclusive. Like that's the only way to get it, you know, unless someone bought it on the secondary market, you know, or, um, you know, the shins and stuff like that uh, were special. Like, it just depends, you know. And I, I think this is becoming a very popular game that they're doing each year uh, that are bringing out, you know, a new figure and, and new stuff to collect and everything. And it's honestly really fun. Like, I, I really wish we could do something like this here in the States. But, you know, we're never going to do something like that just because. Um, but just cool games like that in Japan are just really, really awesome. And I'm so jealous of it and I don't get a chance to play it and everything, but like I've seen people online, you know, videotape it and everything. And it's just, it's like I said, this is luck of the draw, but just really, really fun to see that kind of stuff going on. So, uh, but yeah, I just had to get this guy. I just, oh man, I just love him so much. Like I said, everything about him. I mean, even the spines are nice and blue, you know, that nice blue that he uh, charged up and everything. And they're even, I don't know if you can see um, any of them, but actually some of the spikes are actually extruding um, extra farther than like normal. Like you can see them poking out uh, just like it was in the movie where, you know, when he was charging up, the, the spines were popping up, you know, everything like that. Then when he let loose, they all went down like, that is happening in this figure. I can see it. Um, I wish I could show you. <laughs> um, oh, there you go. You can kind of see it right there, like little holes and stuff like that. Like 
it's sticking out of his body and stuff like that, ready to let loose uh, and everything. And that's just attention to detail, man. Like that's just crazy. And I love that. That just, that just puts this extra oomph on this figure and stuff. Just those little things is just great. Um, but yeah, just, and of course, like I said, Yuji Sakai, he's going to knock it out of the park. He is just so well known. He is a master of his craft. I mean, good Lord. I mean, Everything about this thing is just, <laughs> holy cow, just dynamite. It really, really is. Um, I mean, I can't I can't get a nice, clear uh, look at them, but man alive, just everything. The texture, the skin, the scars, the hands, the feet, spikes. I mean, everything. This is just awesome, awesome, awesome. But yeah, we'll do like a quick size comparison, then we'll get out of here. So here's a quick uh, size comparison. Uh, I give you the 25 centimeter Godzilla Ultima from Singular Point. And this is the X Plus. Uh, and as you can see, like these are very close in size. Uh, this is 25 centimeter, like I said, and this guy is 23 centimeters. So the Ichiban figures are a little bit smaller. They range from like 20 centimeters to 23 uh, typically and stuff. So uh, they're not big. Uh, but uh, they're just a little bit shorter than the 25s. But really, like, they scale pretty well, actually, because, as you know, Minus Goji, he is only 50 meters. So, and Ultima is way bigger than that. He, I can't remember exactly his size, but he's one of the bigger Godzilla's uh, incarnations and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, realistically, they, they're not that badly scaled together, honestly. Um, and like I said, this is this would fit right into the 25 centimeter scales, um, honestly, and stuff. So it's it's really great. Like if you want something uh, representation or you uh, collect the 25 centimeter scale figures only, you know, look for the Ichiban uh, Godzilla's and stuff like that. Like that would fit perfectly in there. Uh, and the price tag is is not as much as say an X Plus and stuff like that. They're they're pretty similar. Uh, just depends on who you go through and stuff like that. But uh, for the most part, the Ichibans are not very pricey. They, I think they range from like 70 bucks to like 95 bucks. You know, it just depends, like I said, on who you get it from, if they include the shipping or not, you know, just, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it, it just, it just varies. And then obviously X pluses, they're they usually range from like 125 to, you know, 140 maybe for 25 centimeters and stuff maybe even lower depending on how big they are and stuff like that so um but yeah i mean it's a great buy uh you get the same quality and everything and i mean obviously you can see here like i mean they look great together uh and everything so it's really good uh to have something like this that if you're if you don't want to wait anymore for a guzzle minus one and you want to get one in the collection you know maybe hunt down one of the ichiban ones um because they serve uh, really well in that spot and everything. So um, definitely um, highly recommend it for sure. So, um, but yeah, All right, guys, that's it. Um, yeah, just want to say, you know, it's, uh, I took a chance on this line, you know, like I said, I've never gotten anything like this, uh, not from this line at all. You know, I was, I was intrigued uh, and they, they pulled through. They really uh, impressed me a lot. They really, really did. Uh, so, but the only thing I just don't like is that they're smaller figures uh, and everything like that. So that's the only thing that's my drawback. Like I said, numerous times on the channel, um, I, I go for the bigger ones, 30 centimeters and above um, and everything. So this isn't quite uh, in my wheelhouse, but like this particular figure I made the exception for because like I said, I am really digging the minus one look and everything. So I just had to get it. Uh, and everything like that and we'll see if we get anything this coming year from x plus or any other uh company um that makes the more realistic screen accurate figures and stuff um you know maybe wonderfest coming up and the second weekend of february who knows we could get some good stuff there and uh yeah it'll be It'll be exciting to see and stuff, but right now this is this is my placement for the minus one Goji in my collection, and I am happy. So, um, but yeah, definitely uh, look out for the Ichiban figures. Uh, I think they are a good buy for the price and the quality, and they really, really are. Um, 
the, the quality is is <laughs> very impressive, honestly, um, for the price and stuff. So, um, yeah, I, I highly recommend it. That's going to be it for me. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, just remember, like, comment, and subscribe. You know, let's get to 650, and who knows, maybe the by the next video that I do, maybe we'll be at 650, and I'll be uh, announcing the giveaway coming up. So, um, but, yeah, just keep uh, keep doing what you're doing. Thank you for liking all my content and everything. And uh, yeah, here's a 650 and stuff and uh, and more. So, um, but yeah, thanks for watching and later.